there. It's Brittany from Practice Indie Yoga, and today I have some fun facts for you about your spine. Did you know that a healthy spine can move in six different unique directions, and that our everyday movements are a combination of any number of those six? Well, today we're gonna learn a little bit about all six of those different movements and why they're all so important. So in a well-balanced yoga class, you're gonna get shapes and postures that incorporate all six of those movements to help contribute to the overall health of your spine and therefore ease of mobility. So the six movements are flexion or forward bending, extension or back bending. We've got lateral flexion, which is side bending in each direction, that counts as two. And then axial rotation or twisting to each side for your final two. So forward, backward, left side, right side, twisting in each direction makes six. So I'll have some other short videos going into more detail about what each of those movements looks like, some different poses for those movements. But in general, from an anatomical standpoint, the reason all six of those movements are so important is because they allow your intervertebral discs or those squishy little cartilaginous, there's a $6 word, those squishy little discs between all of your spinal vertebrae to imbibe or to absorb a higher water content, therefore minimizing compression between all of your spinal bones. So if you just put on your imagination cap for a second here, imagine that my wrists or my fists here are two of your spinal vertebrae. And right in the middle, I'm gonna put a jelly donut. So if I start moving about my day and my spine is only moving in one direction, do you see how all the jelly is shifting to one side? Same if I'm only moving this way or this way or this way or this way. Yeah, cool. So what we wanna do in yoga, in life, just in general, is to evenly move our spine in all directions so that that adorable little jelly donut is as evenly plumped as it possibly can be. Happy vertebrae, happy intervertebral discs, less pain equals happier you. So if this is interesting to you, stay tuned. We'll have a couple other videos coming your way detailing each of those different movements. And then I'll have some longer videos with some yoga sequences focusing on one, maybe two of those different movements. Thanks so much. Catch you next time.